What's up, you guys? This is Professor Ron with OneHourProfessor.com, and today I'm here with my March 2021 income report. This is going to be an interesting one, right? Because those that have followed me, you already know, last month I was able to sell my largest site. I sold it for about $277,000. That was a good exit. Uh, it was awesome. There's a whole story on how I lost some money there as well. So just check the channel, and you may, if you missed that video, check it out. Uh, but basically, March was a good month because now... I'm not able to rely on that income from that other site anymore, right? I'm in a situation to where it's like, okay, Ron, you know, you built an online business, kind of do it again, right? I'm kind of having to do it from, not from scratch, but taking a step back in my income, right? Um, but March was a great month, right? There was a lot of good things that happened. A lot of websites were able to uh, increase their revenue, which is nice because I'm also offsetting some new costs that I'm adding to my income reports. So here's why. My wife and I have kind of been running two different uh, companies in a way, right? I was mostly focused on blogs and this YouTube channel and she was mostly focused on YouTube channel. And I just thought, hey, um, let's just combine these and just be co-owners of a digital media company, right? Let's just do that, let's just go with that. So now um, there is some stuff that I have a little bit less control of that's gonna be my income reports, but obviously my wife and I are working together on certain things, so we're gonna see. Uh, but I figured it made sense to kind of add those into here uh, in both revenue and expenses. So I'm gonna be doing that. In addition to that, I'm also starting a new project. I'm really, really excited about it. I announced it about a week ago on my YouTube channel. Uh, it's called the 100% Outsource Website Experiment, right? Uh, so I'm working on that. That's a really interesting uh, situation. I'll talk more about it here. Uh, but basically, it's exactly what it sounds like. Company head reached out to me and said, hey, we'll build a site for you 100% by ourselves and you just allow us to do that. So I said yes to them doing that. Now that company is over at brandbuilders.io and you can see in the description as well, a link to that if you wanna check it out. But um, it was a pretty generous offer. So I'm excited to see where this goes as well. So overall for this month, I just have to say, so kind of a bird's eye view, I'm pretty happy with where my portfolio is at the moment, considering that I sold my biggest site, right? That revenue just isn't there. Um, so, you know, my biggest fear was that after selling this site, that every month with our, our bills, that I would be in the red. That's actually not true at all. I'm making more money than I thought I would be uh, because of my business. So it's a pretty good situation. But my month, for, for this month alone, my total income after expenses. So I've increased expenses, especially now because we're investing pretty heavily in some YouTube channels and other things. My income after expenses was $10,321, which comes out to roughly $333 per day that I was able to take in profit away from the business. And I just wanna mention guys, if you do wanna click below in the description and follow along with the income report, you can also see this where I give away a free course about uh, actually starting a blog. So if you're at all interested in this stuff, you're thinking, well, I don't really know what to do with the tech stuff, you're a little scared, that's fine, I get it. Go into the blog post, and you can click right there to join the course for free, and it really is free. No strings attached or anything like that. So my personal life update. On a personal level, my wife and I are still trying to move to Arizona. However, it's complicated. Uh, it's complicated because we have to hold the mortgage here as we go buy a house in Arizona because we don't wanna be homeless essentially. Uh, so we're having to do that. I'm really not sure exactly how that's going to work out because I have to get approved for not just this mortgage, but the other mortgage that I have as well, which is a little bit difficult. Um, but other than that, I really don't have much to report this month on the personal level. We've kind of just been hanging out, I've been working and, and we've been kind of going through that process to see how that all goes. So how did the income report turn out this month? Well, you can see here on the screen, um, there was obviously quite a bounce back. It uh, definitely bounced back from previous uh, months. You can see both the revenue and net income increased. Uh, expenses jumped pretty high as well. But like I said, there's some things that I'm including in here uh, in addition to what I already had. Plus I had like some accountant fees and things this month that really drove up the expenses this month uh, that aren't usually there. So uh, if you're interested in that, you can go into this table. You can see every one of the expenses that I have. But you know, for the sake of this video, I don't think it makes sense to go into those. All right, so other than that, I have this graph, which is revenue by channel. Now this is a good one. It basically shows, you know, kind of line graphs where my income or my revenue is really being generated for the sites. Uh, you can see last month, it was kind of low compared to this month. So a big jump month to month. Uh, and I'll talk about why that is within the report, but pretty positive stuff here. Um, you know, website three and consulting had a good jump and so did the one hour professor website. So this is the OHP website, this blue one here. Uh, all the other projects will go through within this. And then if you wanna see revenue by channel, you can check it out here as well. 
kind of just scroll through this. Okay, so let's talk about the different project updates. So first off, Udemy update. Um, I don't focus on Udemy, but I do still make a few bucks from the platform, somewhere between 50 to 100 bucks a month, which honestly isn't bad because I haven't been active on there for like, I don't even know at this point, you guys, it's been like four or five years. So I'll take that one. Um, the OHP website, so the one hour professor website. So you can see here this graph, uh, we had a huge increase uh, in total earnings for the month which was really, really positive and also page views increased. So yet again, the site is doing well. Um, it continues to grow. I've really, I've slowed down a little bit on content revisions because I was so busy with some consulting work in the last month, um, but I intend on doing more revisions in April. So I do wanna focus on that. Uh, page views are now at 72,000 this month, which is an increase of 13% month over month. So you can see this red line here is the page views keeps going up, which is great stuff. Referring domains actually increased to 1,000 and they keep climbing. So really happy about that. Um, just the fact that I've been able to hit 1,000 different websites linking to me, I think is pretty amazing. I never really expected that, so I'm really happy to see that as well. This month, I was able to earn $6,662, which is again, my best month for the site ever for the fifth month in a row. Uh, it was an increase of earnings month over month by 57%. So you may be wondering where is this coming from? Um, you know, I think that that's mostly because I implemented Ezoic ads on certain pages. Uh, so that's been a good thing. So uh, this site is really focused on a lot of affiliate stuff. So not all pages I'm putting ads on, but certain pages I'm strategically putting ads on to increase how much money I can make on the pages where they have more traffic, but not so much affiliate opportunities, if that makes sense. My EPM or earnings per thousand visitors increased to $92, which is pretty awesome. Highest I've ever had for a site. Uh, and I attribute that to me adding those Ezoic ads, but also focusing a little bit more on software and writing about software. Uh, as of now, I'm just gonna keep guest posting and creating content for the site. Um, I have a lot of software that I want to review, things that that I use that I think would be helpful for you guys. Uh, so I have to obviously go through that and it takes some time to write these up. So it, it can be a little bit difficult. I do work with someone to outsource, but there's certain things I have to do. It's kind of hard to explain. But anyway, so I'm just gonna keep writing basically and doing guest posts there. Uh, next is website three. So website three, you could see when, you know, it's gone up, down, up, down, up, down. So there's kind of been a, um, you know, there's a little bit of seasonality to the site. We're not there yet for this year. Uh, but page views hit 140,000 this month, which is pretty significant. Uh, it's only a 1% increase month over month. So not a big jump, but an increase nonetheless. So I'll take it. Uh, referring domains increased to 576. I'm doing nothing. No idea why that's even happening. Uh, so it just keeps fluctuating. So I'm just going to leave that. Uh, this month, I was able to earn $3,086 from the site. Uh, it was actually a, a, an increase of 62% month over month, which was pretty crazy. Um, I've done nothing. I think that the reason why this happened, uh, I use Ezoic and Ezoic uses artificial intelligence. And artificial intelligence is really smart and it keeps testing things to make the most money. So I think really this is just Ezoic, Ezoic doing what it does and finding ways to increase the amount of revenue that I make on the site. That's really all I think it is. Uh, EPM or earnings per thousand increased to $21.92, uh, which is an increase. Again, this is due to Ezoic. Uh, better understanding how to make money on the site because there's nothing else that I can attribute the increases to. Website five, uh, the earnings and page views, you can see kind of how it's gone down and up and down and up. Um, so this site had page views of 81,000 this month, uh, which is an increase of 7% month over month. Referring domains increased to 501. I don't really do anything with that. So if it increases, that's great. I don't touch it. Uh, this month I earned $1,704, which is an increase of 25%. Um, now again, uh, this is kind of crazy because I haven't done anything for this site, Website 5 either. So the only thing I have to say here is again, I think it's Ezoic and their AI figuring out how to make more money with display ads. I think that's all that that really is. Uh, EPM increased to $20.80 overall. And my plan is basically, I'm just gonna let this website sit, right? It's, it's increasing in, in revenue, um, it keeps growing, and you know there's ups and downs and ups and downs, but with the revenue increasing like that, I'm obviously very happy. Website six, so as of now, this site is 100% reliant on affiliate uh, and not Ezoic, okay? So there is no display ads here, mainly because I haven't really hit that threshold of, of page views. Um, I actually just hit it this last month, so I may end up implementing them soon, but anyway. Um, 
I should be testing Ezoic here soon. I probably will. I've kind of been wrestling with it, but it's not the highest priority thing for me, but I probably should because 10,000 page views is when I always turn it on. Uh, page views hit 10.6 thousand this month, 14% uh, increase month over month. So pretty good month. I think if it does it again this month here in, in April, I probably will test Ezoic there. Uh, referring domains increased to 152. Earnings um, dropped by 22%, which is kind of like why that happened. Uh, the EPM is now at $9.57 for the site. The reason that happened is because it's kind of random, right? Because it's affiliate mostly. So it just goes up, down, up, down, up, down. It doesn't really make all that much sense. You can even see in the graphs here, it's kind of, you know, kind of all over the place uh, just because it's all affiliate and there's no display. How much money have I invested in the site? 5,718. How much money has the website made? 1,677. And total ROI is negative $4,041. Not stressing about that. I kind of have let this one sit for a while and I think it could, you know, it's kind of aging and it can jump on at any time. Uh, how much content does the site have? 222 blog posts, been that way for a while. Uh, production has been paused. Website, we're just gonna let it sit. Uh, that's the plan for now with this one. Figure out uh, a plan in the future for it. Now, website seven. This was a great win this month. So this site blew up in March. Uh, super happy where it sits. I'm basically two years into the site now, uh, and this month was a huge win as the site earned a whole lot more income than usual. Uh, not only that, but traffic is continuing to climb. So you can see here in the graph, and I'll talk about numbers in a second, but you can see this beautiful green bar is total earnings, and the red is the page views. So page views hit 122,000 this month, uh, which is a 15% increase month over month, which is great. Uh, I do feel that this could be the biggest site I've ever built from a traffic perspective. Maybe not earnings, but definitely traffic perspective. It's got a lot, uh, a very high ceiling with what it can do. Uh, referring domains increased to 250. I've noticed this site is now getting completely natural backlinks, which is great. Um, so it's a great place to be. I'm just gonna let that happen. I don't even have to do link building for it at all. Uh, this month, I earned $3,183, which was an increase of 91% month over month. And what happened there? Again, I have to attribute it to Ezoic for finding ways to optimize the revenue, but also there was an increase in traffic. So between those two different things going on, I think that's why there was such an increase in uh, revenue as well. Uh, EPM for the site is at $26.01, which is pretty high considering that this site really isn't focused on commercial items or things that advertisers would really want to do a lot of advertising on, but it just keeps making money. So I'm obviously not gonna complain, right? Uh, how much have I invested in this website? So I've invested 31,262. Uh, I have, how much has the website made? 15,722. The total ROI based on those numbers is negative 15,540. So I basically spent $15,540 and people are probably like, whoa, that's crazy, blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing. Uh, if I were to sell this website today, I could assume that I'd sell for an estimated about 100,000 uh, is what I think it would be, which means that I'd have a net gain of $84,000, uh, well, $84,460 in two years. That's not too bad. So I'm gonna keep growing this thing. I, I see some good things coming here. Uh, how much content is on the site? So we have 1,287 informational pages on the site now and 123 informational blog posts. Uh, the plan, as of now, going to continue to create content. Uh, we're doing about 8 to 10 articles a week, and we're just going to keep doing that. I'm realizing that the site also might be a good candidate to potentially include uh, content focused on information for international folks. So not just the United States, which is where I usually focus, but also going internationally, which could really grow the number of pages over time. Uh, but if the ROI is there, right, I'm going to do it. Uh, and so far, the ROI has been there. So I'm actually maxing out my writer's time. She's like, I can't write anymore, which is fine. I wish we could go a little quicker. And I could hire another writer, but I'm like, hey, let's just keep growing this thing as it's been going. It's going well, so I'll keep doing that. Website eight. Uh, so you can see here in the graph, kind of up, down, up, down. So this site continues to fluctuate and go up and down in earnings. Uh, the branding is very good, and it has a pretty successful themed YouTube channel to complement it, right? So this is website eight. I also have a, a complimentary YouTube channel, which I've talked about before. Um, I, I think that this site is still a big winner. It's just going to take some time. Very good branding here. It just is going to take some time for it to grow to where I, I think it can. Uh, page views hit 7.1K this month, which is an increase of 35% increase month over month. So 
obviously that was good. Uh, 35% increase on page views, happy to see that. Referring domains is at 64. Most of these are just spammy junk links. I may have to do some link building in the future for this one, uh, but not right now, it's just not my focus. Uh, this month I am $36. This was 100% month over month, which is deceiving. Uh, because last month I made $18, so it's like, whatever, it doesn't matter the percentage. Uh, EPM, to show you how low this site is, right now EPM, earnings per thousand visitors, is at $5.02. You guys, that is putrid. That's terrible for a site. Uh, it's the lowest I think I've ever had, actually. But once I hit 10,000 page views, I think I'm gonna throw ads on, that'll increase it. Um, and I really, most of the content right now has just been informational. And there's not really, I mean, I have affiliate stuff in there, but there's not a whole lot going on. Uh, how much have I invested in this site? So $5,996 invested. I've made $590. The total ROI is negative 500 or negative $5,406. How much content on the site? 193 informational blog posts. My plan is to continue content production to three articles a week for this one. Uh, I'm eventually gonna to have to start doing some links, uh, building links, or maybe hiring someone to build some links. I'm gonna to have to do something here to increase my domain authority. I'm not doing anything just yet, but I know I'm gonna to have to get there. Uh, website nine, so I realize I haven't been giving a detailed report on this particular site uh, within my reports, so I decided to add it this month, and, and this is kind of what I was talking about in the beginning. I wanted to add some things. Um, long story short, this is a site that I built in January 2020, and after the initial content build out, I've done absolutely nothing for it because I kind of um, realized that, hey, you know, there's a lot of things going on with this, and it just wasn't the best focus of my time, so I kind of slowed down. Uh, it is a very high-priced item that I'm, I'm selling here, and I'm affiliate. I could eventually do some more affiliate marketing here, but it would take a lot of effort, and there's just bigger projects, so I'm not going to do that for now, but... It is making some money, so I figured I'd include it. So page views hit 1.5 thousand this month uh, and 8% uh, 8, 8 uh, decrease month over month. Referring domains increased to 10. Uh, this month they're on 30 bucks, decrease of 33% 33, 33 month over month. EPM at this one, and this is just display ads, is $19.66. So that tells you that's actually pretty high, uh, especially for what it is. And we have 25 informational blog posts Right now, production has been paused and it's just basically sitting there. Next is website 10, uh, the website 10 update. And this is the outsourced authority website built by brand builders, okay? 100% outsourced authority website built by brand builders. So, so far the content is moving along in this site. Uh, brand builders, they're doing well. We had a little bit of a learning curve in the beginning because they were like, um, you know, they, they basically came to me and said, hey, we'll build a site. And I said, okay, great. I'm not used to 100% outsource. I, I don't usually do that. I, I have a little bit more control. This one was a little bit different. So we went back and forth. They did some keyword research. I kind of shot some stuff back, went back and forth. And then um, I got their first uh, versions of drafts for the, the content. And I said, hey, you know, with my content, it needs to be top tier, blah, blah, blah. We kind of talked through that. They did some revisions. Uh, I got that back. And then I said, okay, this is good. They did that. And then they sent in the second round of some more content and that the quality had much improved. And um, I think that we're kind of on the same page now, right? Uh, they actually had to assign some new staff and actually got rid of some staff. It's a long story. But anyway, um, so far, so good. I don't have many complaints about it. Uh, they're just adding content. I have a regular theme on there, the, the WordPress 2020 theme, nothing at, nice at all, frankly. Um, so that's what's really there right now. This month I added Google Analytics and Webmaster Tools to the site. Uh, they've also said that they're going to be doing, this is kind of cool, so it really is 100% outsourced because they're actually gonna be doing link building as well um, within this, so I'm really curious uh, how this is going to go. I'm also curious to see if I can beat the Google Sandbox, meaning you know, within that first six months I can really get some rankings, which would be cool. So we'll see how that goes, it's gonna be interesting. Um, if you want to try brand, brand builders yourself, like I said, fully done for you site, you can click on the link here. Um, it is an affiliate link and I appreciate the support, but I just have to throw it out there because they were so generous with what they're doing for me. And I thought, hey, this is a pretty good deal. Um, so, you know, if people are interested, they have more money than time. It's a good thing to do. Uh, so far, the metrics are all zeroed out because it's brand new. I'm just, you know, just doing it this month, my first update. Uh, how much content is on the site? Five informational blog posts. That's all it is right now. And there's no traffic. There's nothing. Uh, they're publishing the content in batches, which is not usually how I do things. I prefer to usually have X amount of posts per week uh, and then publish them weekly. But they like to deliver five articles, 10 articles at a time, and then I review them. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that works out. I haven't done that before, 
But um, they started to do it and I've had two batches come in and, and it works, right? I just have to take some time to sit down and actually do the editing. I could hire an editor, but especially right now, I'm gonna definitely do that myself. So we'll see how this goes. It's gonna be interesting to see how that project goes. Uh, the website eight complimentary YouTube channel. So this is a YouTube channel that keeps on going. So you can see here, uh, views increased a little bit month over month and the earnings also increased. the green bars, the earnings. So another great month of growth. Uh, it's pretty much on autopilot now, this channel. It wasn't like that for a long time, but now it is. Uh, we have a team in place. And I do have to say, um, if you're in the income report and you're interested in learning more about the outsource YouTube channel model uh, that this particular uh, channel is doing, you could check out the webinar. Uh, if you just click right there to check out the webinar, kind of goes into how this all works. It's a, it's a long story and I can't get into it here, but it does genuinely work. Uh, so views hit was 146,000 this month, increase of 5% month over month, gained 570 subscribers this month, uh, earnings increased to 628, uh, which is an increase of 10% month over month. So more earnings, 10% more earnings this month, which is good. Uh, how much did we invest in this YouTube channel? So I'm, I'm estimating about $350 a month in expenses. That's my wife and I talked about, that's about where it's gonna be. So $770 uh, total. Uh, and how much money has the channel made? 3,233 for a total ROI of 2,463. The reason why this has a positive ROI, in the beginning, my wife was doing all the editing. So she did it all at first, and now we've outsourced it so that since the, um, the channel can support that, right? Uh, right now, the plan, continue to publish five videos a week that are SEO focused, uh, and then try twice a month to create uh, potentially viral videos. So there is a viral component to this. We're, we're testing this with, with some really in-depth, um, you know, going, going further by creating scripts, voiceovers, doing more things, uh, better editing, things that we hadn't been doing previously uh, to try to get two videos a month out there to potentially go viral. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we're gonna try, I think, I think we decided we're gonna try 10 different videos to do that and then we'll see how it goes. One of our professor YouTube channel, this channel right now, uh, which you should subscribe to if you haven't already. And also like this video, I'd appreciate that. Um, the OHP YouTube channel is growing pretty well, uh, which I'm happy about as I haven't put that much work into it as of uh, in 2021 as I did in 2020. I just can't, I've been so busy with my own uh, website and such. But I am excited about the growth that's happening. I feel like this channel has a lot of juice to squeeze, if that makes sense. So you can see the uh, the graphs here, small increase in earnings. Um, views from last month popped up a little bit as well. So views month to month, they uh, we hit 34,000 views this month, which is a 7% increase month over month. Gained 599 subscribers. I mean, there could have been one more subscriber, right? That would have been nice just to make it 600. But hey, it is what it is. But really, subscribe right now if you're not part of the community. I appreciate it. Maybe we can get that number a little bit higher this month. Uh, channel uh, earned $824 this month, which is interesting because it was an earnings increase of 4%. One of the highest months I've had, and actually it might be the highest month I've had. Yeah, looking, it's the highest month I've ever had, and I haven't been publishing as much, which is just weird to me, but I'm happy about it. Uh, how much have I invested in the channel? So we're estimating, I'm estimating about $120 a month in expenses, just my editor, that's pretty much all that is. Uh, $3,657 is how much I've invested. Uh, it has made $8,882, so a total ROI there of positive $5,225. Um, I'm still committing to one video per week, but if you pay close attention, you may notice an increase in output from me. Um, I don't want to uh, say that I'm gonna do more because last time I did that, I was stuck doing three videos a week and got really hard for me. It was really stressful. So for now, I'm gonna say, yeah, I'll always publish on Friday of every week, but I think I'm gonna be ending up throwing some more in. I also changed the publish time if you haven't been paying attention. Um, I publish my videos now at 9 a.m. I used to publish them much later in the day. I'm doing that because a tool basically told me with my audience, this is when people are on, and I thought, okay, I'm not gonna argue with that. Uh, so it's an analytical way of doing it. Um, and then lastly, I want to get back to kind of creating helpful content for bloggers. I have slipped a little bit only because I've been so busy that I've been doing, you know, videos that, um, you know, showcase some tools, but I thought, you know what, this is, I don't want people to start being like, this guy's boring. He doesn't bring any value. So I'm going to keep going back to kind of where I was coming from before. Uh, themed YouTube channel one. So this channel had a slight downward trend this month, which is understandable as it can't stay viral forever. Uh, you could see here the, the red 
views is down and also the green earnings is also down. This is the channel that is in Brazil. So it doesn't make a ton of money in the first place. Uh, views decreased to 439,000 views for the month, which is a heck of a lot of views, by the way, uh, which is a 39% decrease month over month. So basically they had a, there was a video that was going viral. The virality of that slowed down. Uh, however, did gain 1,943 subscribers this month. Uh, we're just gonna let this channel sit. It doesn't make enough uh, per thousand views to really focus on. Like I said, it's in Brazil, um, but maybe it'll go viral again. It'd be great because if you look at the graph, you can see it's gone viral down, up, down. So maybe it'll go viral again, we'll see. Uh, Toledo Reaction YouTube channel. So again, kind of melding uh, the business into one as a media company. My wife, her name is Toledo. She has a Reaction YouTube channel. This is showing you the very early on uh, stuff with this. Again, this is a channel that is in Brazil, not in America. So uh, this is a YouTube channel and it's still in its infancy and it's going to continue to grow slowly, especially in the beginning here. It's in Portuguese. She misses working in that market. That's where she's from is Brazil. Uh, so she likes working in that market. Um, and we'll see how much this pays with time. Our hope here, so the last channel, we don't, we didn't want to work on it because it didn't pay enough per thousand views, right? So it's like, well, Ron, why would you want to work on this one? Really what it comes down to is that the hope is that she can grow her channel to a really large audience rather quickly. And even though she won't make as much per thousand views, she'll get a lot more views. That's kind of what you can do with Brazil because it's really densely populated. You can get really popular. So she's transitioning an old YouTube channel here as well. One hour, we used to have like a vlog that we did in Brazil. She's transitioning that. So it's an interesting experiment. We're gonna see how it goes. She's still adjusting things and, and the audience is also adjusting, you know, they're getting unsubscribed, et cetera. So uh, right now the views have increased to 13,000 views a month, increase of 2% month over month. She lost 44 subscribers this month, net, which is kind of weird. Um, this, this channel, like I said, used to be a vlog, so we're kind of adjusting it, so that makes sense. Channel earned $15 this month, increase of 6% month over month. Not much to write home about. Uh, and then the plan as of now is that Talia is going to focus on creating five videos a week. That's the goal till the end of 2021. I think anybody that's doing YouTube, you kind of have to do that uh, for the whole year, for at least a year to really see where it can go. Uh, lessons learned. So every month I usually reflect back on different lessons learned. I used to do three lessons every month. And I was like, this is stupid. Like I'm forcing lessons. I don't want to do that anymore. Uh, now I'm just going to say lessons or lesson learned this month, uh, was that you don't always want to say yes to people's requests because there are opportunity costs that are significant to your own business. So this came about because I've been saying yes to a ton of different consulting and all these different things, which is great. It's immediate money. Uh, but as I've been saying yes to that, I've been neglecting my own business, which is never a good thing. So I'm slowing that down and now I'm going to really focus on my stuff and be a little bit more selfish with my time. I think I have to be. Um, in addition, I also usually talk about goals at the end of the month. I'm, I'm, I'm stopping the goals, you guys. Uh, it just is extra time. And frankly, you guys probably don't really care what my goals are that much. Uh, but, you know, if you do, let me know in the, the comments, then we can go from there and talk about it. So that's kind of what happened in the month of March. I hope that this one was enjoyable. If you did enjoy this video, please, as always, like it so that the YouTube algorithm also likes it and subscribe to the channel so that you become part of the community and you can catch all my new updates and tell me how cool I am or how much I suck. Either way, that's fine. I'd appreciate you guys just being part of the community. Otherwise, guys, as always, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.